I'm here in Indonesia with Sea Trek, looking for Alfred Russell Wallace's legendary house on what he called the earthquake tortured island of Ternate. After doing quite a lot of research, I'm pretty sure I found the location, though the house is no longer there. There's only modern buildings. Um, there's clues in Wallace's book, The Malay Archipelago, about where it was. Basically, he said that the house uh, was above the Dutch uh, fort, which it is. The Dutch fort's just on the other side of the road here. That the back garden faced Mount Gamalama, the giant volcano in the distance. That the Sultan's palace was half a mile in that direction, which it is. And that um, the market was about five minutes walk away, which it is. So we're pretty sure this is approximately where the house was. Wallace rented this house for three years and used it as his, his base for amazing intrepid expeditions to places like New Guinea in search of birds of paradise and other um, specimens, both for his own private study and for sale. And um, it was in this house as well that he wrote a very important letter to Charles Darwin that accompanied his essay on evolution by natural selection, which he posted together with the letter on the Dutch mail steamer, which called into Donate once a month. And it arrived in Darwin's home in Kent um, in early 1858. And when Darwin opened uh, the package, read the letter, realized that Wallace had basically scooped him. He had been sitting on the theory of natural selection for 20 years, but hadn't published anything. And now he had in his hands an essay describing what he called his theory. But that's another story.